Hello friends, welcome to my channel. You are at Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy, and today I am going to show you my entire Creative Haven collection as of September 2022. This is because in September I am, well, focusing my if you're a new friend, you're just here to see the collection. I do a picker wheel app where I pick something to color every month and Creative Haven popped up. So because I have not done any actual collection videos, I do have plans for that in 2023. And since I have all of them because I went and pulled them all together and I went, holy moly, do I have a lot of Creative Haven. And sadly, I have a lot that are uncolored in. So let's see what we're going to do. So I actually went through and I alphabetized them by artist. So theme wise, color by number, all of that's mixed in. I just have them in here by artist and I am going to show you them. I purchase, I am most of my Creative Haven books I purchased through the Dover.com website. Dover is the publisher of the Creative Haven books, and they are also mostly available on Amazon. However, if you have access, I, I have no idea, I don't remember offhand if Dover does worldwide shipping, but within the US, I often find a better deal on my Creative Haven books at Dover. They do have occasional sales. They also have a um, coloring newsletter they send out that has sample pages you can download and print out and they frequently have the Creative Haven books in there. So I just always, I don't, I don't always because I forget to tell you, but I suggest and I personally try to do it when I'm looking for something, I will look beyond Amazon because Amazon does not always have the best deals. It just is convenience that we are paying for. So, okay, that being said, let's dive into the books I have for Creative Haven. I will put the Dover website down below. Um, but I am not going to link each individual book. If there is a book you are interested in and you cannot find it, send me a message on Instagram and I'm spicy cat colors out there, same as I am here. I will try to help you out. So first up, I have Animal Calaveras and this is, where is it? It's by a husband and wife, Mark and Javier Agredo. And I have not colored anything in this one. Just being honest, nothing colored, but they're so pretty and I just can imagine them with the bright, vibrant colors that they need. This is a book that's been in my collection for quite a while and it has been colored in. Rose Windows is a, um, it's one of the only, might be the only grayscale-ish. This is by Joel Avrin. I have some that are like scratch, so they're darker, but this is like a very dark grayscale. I love, love, love this book. And it is definitely one I would like to finish, but then I'm going to be so sad because I have not seen anything similar to it out there. They're basically mandalas, stained glass windows, so. That's that one. Next, I have one book from Alexandra Cowell, Creative Haven Celebrations. This has kind of a whole assortment of celebrations. Celebrations. Some are just generic. Some are more specific. Vacation. Holidays, birth, well, it could be anything. Um, most of them are generic. Wedding or anniversary, that could be. So I don't need to show you all of these, but you might get all of them. These are the ones I was referencing. This is from um, Tim Foley is the artist, and I have two of his books, and they are the woodcut designs. So this is just the woodcut designs. This is the smaller 
of the two. And here you can see it's kind of like scratch art. And they're really cool. So I have the wood, this is just, I think, I don't know if this was the original or not, woodcut designs. And then I recently finished a page in animal woodcut designs, which is, says it's the deluxe edition. And it is quite a bit thicker. I don't know how many pages it has, but I'll show you the page I did in August. This was the first page I'd colored in this style of book. So I definitely, there's a bit of a learning curve, but I like how it looks when it's colored in. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful animals. Next I have Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. And this one, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep it. So part of while I wanna go through this is there will probably be some destashing going on. So here's the thing. I think Teresa's pages are gorgeous. Uh, now I'm looking at them, do I dare color one? The thing is I am, I'm a marker primarily colorist. I don't do pencils. And I think these are so adorable and lean more towards the realistic style and I can't always achieve that level of shading myself personally and such with markers, but the pencil work and like so much detail, yeah, I don't know. It might get de-stashed. I have a colored in it, so that's my one Teresa Goodrich book. Then I have Whimsical Mandalas. This is by Shayla Kerrigan. I think I have two of her books and these are fun. I like the mandalas because they actually fill up the whole page, which I find interesting. This is the one page I have colored and that's got a lot of glitter in. That's for sure. It's a cute one. And the other one I have of hers is called Groovy Mandalas. Again, Shayla Kerrigan. This one I have not colored in and these do not fill up the page. They are very much more your pattern style mandalas. Oh, I like the lava lamps, lava lamps. So we shall see, maybe I'll get something colored in that one this month. The next artist I have is Jessica Mazurkiewicz. And I did not realize how many of these or how many of her books I had until I got them all piled out. So this is Animal Mosaics. These are very cool. They have nice thick lines and I just need to get coloring in them. I think they would, I'm hesitant. I almost wish this were color by number because I just don't know what colors to do. So We'll see, maybe I'll, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple examples, but yeah, it's gonna be tricky for me. But I just think they're so pretty. I really like that. Then I have Beautiful Butterflies, designed with a splash of color. This is a fun one. It is kind of, you could treat it as a color by color if you want to color the same color as all of these outlines or you could do your own thing, and um, I think that'll look really cool too. So here you can see an example where the outlines are a different color than some of the images, and it looks really pretty that way. Sorry, I got a cat toy up there. And then here's another finished one. I don't have any finished ones to show you. I have stylish southwestern designs, and these are all patterny, kind of wallpapery, not completely, but I think they're really fun. I have Happy Birthday, which it's a whole book about birthdays, so most, well, not a most, but I don't know if it, I suppose it depends on the artist. A lot of the thing with Creative Haven, I really do like their paper, um, but it's the 
artwork is usually so thin it's not the best for alcohol marker which is my preferred coloring method so I always have to make a decision favorite hymns amazing grace is on the front I have done a couple pages in here this was one of my 10 books to touch this year and these are very nice I'll um, have like a quote or title of a hymn This was a release this year. I was very excited to finally pick it up. Flirty Florals, which as you can guess, every page has flowers on it. They are floral. Speaking of florals, I have Christmas florals. Again, these are all by Jessica. Have I done anything in here? Probably not again I don't oh I did the title page yay I did something <laughs> that makes me happy to know it has been colored in then she does this whimsy line which I think is so fun so here is nature whimsy and these are called a wordplay coloring book so let's see if we can find one that makes sense here's a good fall one so here is a maple leaf and the leaf is made up of words that have things to do with a maple tree. So tall, sugar, limbs, plant, sap, tree. Kind of see, so the words make it up. So you can color them different colors. Here's this shell. Or you can kind of do your own thing. So those are the examples, but I think it, they're a lot of fun. Again, I have, you'll see three books and we'll see what I've actually colored in them. So here's the USA Whimsy, which I thought was fun because it has all of the states in it. Some, there, some of them have two states on a page because most Creative Haven, their standard books have 31 pages. So they had to, you know, condense that down. But then there's also little extra snippets from that state on each page and then the last Jessica book I have is delicious whimsy and this is all fun food stuff I'm all about food and snacks I think I've colored something in here I thought I know I wanted to and I have not well the best intentions ah I'm really sad. I know I've picked out pages from here, but I obviously haven't colored any. The next book I have is from Marty Noble. This is Christmas Mandalas. And that's exactly what they are. Christmas Mandalas. Again, uncolored in. Maybe this year. Then I think I have a couple from Angela Porter. She does a, um, like the Entangled series. So here I have Entangled Christmas. This was one of my first Creative Haven books I purchased and I did the first page. This was in 2020. I was just playing with gel pens and markers. And that may be the only page Nope, I've done a couple. So I did this page, which did some yellowing. Yeah, it's really bad on this side, but that'll be fixable. So this is before I realized black Sharpie yellows, but um, I can fix that. And the other book I have of hers is Entangled Butterflies from Angela Porter not colored in <laughs> we're not keeping track of that look how beautiful maybe i could try and just do something with like watercolor in here because that is a lot of detail which would be really fun to just take a pack of gel pens and really do all the detail but i'm also all about doing things quickly if i can i have a few from marjorie sarnett so I have Creative Kittens. I have not colored in it. 
at all. Adorable, very much zen doodly. And then I have Creative Cats. Very similar. Can't really tell the difference between which one is a cat versus a kitten. And as much as I love cats, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. Both of those are on the fence. They may be um, de-stashed. Uh, I have butterflies. Now this one, I'm pretty sure I will be very much keeping because I very much wanted to this book. I haven't colored it, <laughs> but I do love this style. There's a little bit more open space in these. I mean, granted, it's still very busy, but I like it. I have a one by Ruth Sofer or Sofer, Lovable Cats and Dogs. Again, have not colored in it. This is another one I may um, de-stash just because, see now these drawings, granted it's not like photorealism, but I know I'm gonna have a heck of a time. I'm gonna wanna make these dogs and cats look realistic and I know my skills are not at that level. So it might be better gifted to someone that would enjoy it better. I have lots of other animal books. So see how beautiful that is. I think these pages really would look so much better done in pencil. And that's just not me. So, <sighs> okay. Next, this one is by Jen Sovac. And it is Butterfly. And this is a color by number. So, again, I have not colored in it. There's a lot of pretty butterflies with a variety of green backgrounds. Next, I have Flower Fashion Fantasies. And this one is by Ming Ju Sun. And I used to have a Christmas one and I did gift that last year. And this is very similar, but uh, I don't know. Zoe, sweetheart, uh, she must not have been comfortable trying to take her nap. So she wants to come say hello. Maybe she just wants to pass through. Let's see, keep going. She might want to be held, so hold on. Okay, Zoe has received the loving she wanted. So this one I kind of want to keep because when I look at the images, it reminds me, granted, I don't know how I'm going to color them, but it reminds me of Project Runway, which I love that show, when they have to like create a dress out of non-traditional materials. And it just makes me think of Project Phone Way dresses. So I think it would be fun to color, but we'll see. Then I have one by Joe Taylor. This is called Keep Calm. And this was on my list of 10 books to finish in 2021. I did not finish, but I think I'm going to do my very best to finish it this month because I was very close. Well, I had like under 10 pages to do. So I've already colored a few this month, but I think I, since it's Creative Haven month, I should be able to finish this one off is the goal. I think I only have one, two, three, four, five left. So my goal is to finish this book this month. It would be very exciting. Next and last, I have my George Tufexis collection. Absolutely love George Tufexis, um, color by number books. I don't know, does he do anything besides color by number? So I think this is the first one. This and Cats, I probably got pretty close to the same time. Let me check, because they're both right here. This was August 2020. I write when I get, yep, I bought both of these at the same time. So this is the Christmas book, which is has some things colored in it. 
and these pages just turn out so lovely. I have used water-based markers. This one was water-based. This one was alcohol and both work lovely. Another water-based. So yeah, I love George Tufex's books. <laughs> I don't have all of his color by numbers yet, and I don't, some of them I actually don't want, but um, the ones I do like, I have plenty to keep me busy. Of course, cats, I have done several in cats. Again, alcohol marker, is this alcohol? I've used my tau trees in here. Gel pen, anyway. Love those. This is a newer to my collection, but I have colored a page in it. City Sites. Which page did I do? Actually, I may have done two in there. I did the coffee shop and this one, and I used just water-based markers. This, I think, is his newest book, so I have not colored in this one. Wonders of Nature. Again, it's your basic color by number book. You probably can't even see anything. There are um, examples of the completed pages. They are kind of small. So that's the frustrating part with all of the detail that there is on these pages. But a little trick that I do is I use my cell phone and I'll take a picture of the page I'm working on and then I can reference it while I'm coloring the page and zoom in. I also wish they had their color key on like a fold out or just something because it's really a pain. You don't have any reference to what the numbers are. It's not like um, other books where they'll like list on the opposite side, you know, one black, two gray. You have to constantly reference it. So that's something I don't care for. This is By the Sea color by number, another recent purchase. Again, I should just be showing you the answer keys. So this one's got a lot of blue, but I think they're pretty fun. And I have two left. This is Still Life color by number. And I don't think I've colored anything in here. No, but it has a lot of the same color palette, which I found interesting wonder, does this say what year? Oh wait, this is not George Tufexis. I am so sorry. Say, this doesn't look like George. He got mixed in there. Diego Jordan Pereira. Pereira? Sorry, not sure. So this is from 2016, but um, it's kind of a lot of the same color palette. But this is a much larger spaces, so sorry. You got mixed in with the Tufexis, but no, this is not George Tufexis. This is Diego, so should have put him last. Even though that's out of alphabetical order, huh, which part of my brain wants to refilm this whole thing because that kind of thing makes me a little crazy. Anyway, not going to. And then I have the Autumn Inspirations color by number, which I have buddy color in here for September. And I am excited. I love all of these. So there you are, my friends. That is my giant stack of Creative Haven color by number book, or not color by number, just Creative Haven, my collection. So I guess these this is kind of my preface to my collections video. By the time, um, if my plan goes well, and I film a collection video in 2023, we'll see how many of these are still the same versus if more were added or some were passed on. But again, I'm working on Creative Haven pages this month, so I thought it would be fun to show all of my books. And there are many, 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 many more. I have seen other, um, YouTube videos where colorists have shared their collections and they maybe have the same number of books and all completely different, which is part of what I love about the Creative Haven books. They work with a variety of artists. They give credit to their artists 
and you can really find someone that fits your vibe. Their pages are all single-sided. They are perforated, so they're easy to remove for those people that like to remove when they color or just remove them when to frame them. Um, the paper is a nice quality. It is not Amazon printed paper, so it works really well with pretty much marker or pencil. I have friends that use pencil primarily and they love it. And yeah, they all have, like I said, a example. The color by numbers will show you the full example. And then the non-color by numbers will give you an example. Obviously you'll have a cover image and then they will have a color example on the inside covers. So I think, I think they're great books, obviously, because I have so many of them. And again, I recommend checking the Dover website before purchasing on Amazon. Amazon will though, when they have like um, their book special where it's like buy two, get one free, frequently Creative Haven is included in that sale. So that's another one to watch for. I always tend to miss that. So I don't know if it's, I mean, it's probably never advertised. So unless I hear someone tell, say something or if they post it on Instagram, I think only one time have I been able to take advantage. And then the um, Creative Haven books that were included weren't ones I wanted. <laughs> so go figure. But okay, friends, I'm gonna let you go because this is kind of long for a collection video. And yeah, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of a little bonus video. I don't normally get to do this kind of thing but I had a moment and I wanted to show you what I have for Creative Haven books. And hopefully you will see a bunch of these books again in my completed pages in September. My goal, it's not gonna happen. My main goal is to finish the Keep Calm book. The secondary goal would be to color something in all of the uncolored books, which there's a lot of. So in addition to my other coloring, I'm not too, too positive that will happen, but you never know what could happen this month. Maybe it's going to be a really good coloring month. So I will talk to all of you again soon. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I appreciate that you took some of your time and gifted it to me today. I appreciate that. I don't take it for granted. And I don't take you for granted because you matter. You are beautiful, you are special, you offer so much inspiration to this world and to the people around you. You may not see that and you may not hear it. So let me tell you it on their behalf that you really do matter and their lives are much richer because you are in the world. I love you friends.